From starting out on a 32-foot carver and living on it for the summer, spending plenty of time with my friends, to working and now living on a 40-foot Bestway trawler. Stay tuned as I continue to fix up and one day, hopefully, toss the lines. I'm Tucker, and this is Trashy Tuckers. So this is going to be one video where everything is just going to be out of order. So I started off by disassembling the previous outdoor kitchen, taking out the trash compactor, the countertop, and the ice maker, which didn't work, and uh, didn't record any of the disassembly, just completely forgot about it, and uh, yeah, then I decided to go ahead and cut the wood to make sure that my new mini fridge fits, and guess what, didn't record any of that either. But, uh, but I got it all cut out, the fridge is put in, and uh, yeah. All right, so I already got her cut up, put her over the fridge, she works. So I'm gonna sand that down, and sand that piece down. Put some primer on, let her dry, probably two coats of paint, just to make sure she's all shined up. And uh, yeah, we'll put her back on the boat and see how she works. So got that sanded, got that sanded, got my primer and paint all ready. So this is a, I don't have the very best setup in this shop. As you can tell, there's a, there's a lot of shit. Anybody need a Westerbeek motor? It's for sale. All that stuff's for sale. So I'm going to buy it so I don't have to keep stepping over it. But yeah, get all this stuff primed up real quick and paint it in a little while after. So that's primed. And that is primed. So let it sit for a little bit, let it dry, come back put some paint on her. All right. Let's see if she's about ready for a coat of paint. Let's get after it.
So this is the mini fridge that I got that is going to replace the ice maker that was there. It's the 115 can version. I figured that'd be a lot more useful than an ice maker, especially since I can now keep stuff in there, like meats and all that stuff, and I'm griddling for everybody. And then I got that sink right there that's going to replace the old one. I got to make a new countertop. That's going to be probably what I do tomorrow. I'm still trying to think of a way that I can do that. Because my goal is have that sink in, paint my new countertop. Now I'd like to get a stencil made of my, you know, my channel logo, the boat, and paint that stencil on the countertop. I think that would look cool. And then just put some, you know, tabletop epoxy over top of it, seal it all in. I think that would look pretty neat, but we'll see what I can do. Got Jess coming over. She's gonna be my first sticker on the new Kitchen of Fame. Alright, you need beer, right? Mm-hmm. Alright, where am I putting it? So you put it right next to the thing next since you're beer counter. Since you're helping me get the numbers up. Make it stick. Oh, yeah. Alright. Shock tops in the fridge. <laughs> okay. No, this fridge. Oh. The oh. new fridge. Convenient. Right, let's see if I can get this to count. It like never, ever, ever works for me. Come on, lucky number 17. Okay, let's just. Manually. Damn it. I think you might need a higher. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Uh, Number 17. Nice. Cheers. Hell yeah. Alright, sitting here at Lowe's. It is. 5.50 in the morning. I just left the gym. Drove all the way to Easton. We'll go in here and try and find some wood for the countertop. I'm guessing just marine plywood. I don't know. So I'm going to also see if they have any kind of uh, trim pieces to see if I can finish doing around the refrigerator. And then I still need something for the inside of my bird too. So I'm going to see what they have. Uh, sitting in my truck talking to myself and some guy just walked by and gave me a weird look and now I kind of want to go home. But yeah, let's go in here and see what they got. Alright, so I got myself some trim that's already stained. I got myself a piece of maple, which is the most expensive piece of wood I've ever bought. So you're about to see me do the most precise cuts I've ever done. Get home and start getting to work. Alright, so I got my wood all set up. Go ahead and try cutting it. As you can see, I'm doing this very professionally. Um, we don't need saw horses and table saws where we're going. We're just going to use what we have, which is nothing. So I'm pretty sure if I just cut along those edges, I think we'll be okay. I don't do anything precisely. So let's try it out.
got my piece cut. It fits. And the trim fits over it. So now I just have to figure out where I want to put that sink at and get the hole cut. Let's get her going. Alright, got her all lined up. I'm going to get the fine tool out and start cutting her. Hopefully I did this right. Good chance that I didn't, but I can hope. she fits it looks kind of dumb but I think that's gonna be the best orientation that way I can fully open those I don't know it's gonna look dumb but I think that's the best way I can do it all right before I paint it I want to kind of keep it waterproof so I'm gonna mix up some hardened epoxy put it on there wait for it to cure and I'll put some primer on the whole goal is once it is painted, I'm going to try and find a stencil of my little boat logo and then put that on there. I'm going to get a gray paint, put the stencil on top, it'll look just like my t-shirts. And then once that's done, I'll get tabletop epoxy, put it over, that way it's all protected and it looks nice and it looks fancy and I'll be cool. So yeah, that's the whole game plan. So yeah, I think that's all the work that I'm going to do on camera. The rest of it seems pretty boring, hooking up a drain and putting in a trash can. But, uh, yeah, I think it did pretty good. So, if you like the video and watching my dumbass figure out how to do things, uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, as always, keep it trashy. Thank you.